So we are here at Rafa's garage. Um, I don't know what happened to the audio, so I'm gonna voice record it right now. So what we're installing right now is a dash cam. It has a front uh, camera. It has also a rear camera. This is a must have on your car. I used to have an accident and they blamed it on me just because I rear ended him and he was coming out of the driveway. So that's why we're installing this. Let's open it up and see what it has. We got the mirror right here, uh, so that's where the camera's at in the back. It even has a little swivel so you could adjust it. Then we got the rear, the rear camera right here, and then we also have some cables. It's probably gonna be the power, and then this one's gonna be the rear camera. It also has this little rubber and the instructions so let's get to it so i was able to figure it out right here is all your ports this one it does take a micro uh, sd card this right here is your actually your backup camera and this is your power source so this is the rear camera and it does have another plug to disconnect it from the rear just in case this one is your power source and it did come with a cigarette lighter that's where it gets power but luckily for me I have two uh, USB ports and then I have another one from the radio so I'm probably gonna use the one from the radio um, and that's about it um how you mount it uh these do extend so these ones are already tucked in you remove them like that and they come out and then you have a little romer grommet to hold it in place on top of the other one so that's what i'm gonna do right now remove all this right here and or not really and put it on real quick so let's get to it well, I wired everything up and as you can see it's working this is the front this is the rear i could use it as a backup camera i just need to connect it to the reverse light and it will only turn on when uh, i'm hitting reverse but if i have it this way i'm able to record both sides so i could have only one screen on or i could have the backup i still haven't set it up i just put it in the rear just to see how it worked and yeah um this does record when the power is on um when it's not powered on it has its own external battery so but if it does hit an impact it will start recording so that's a cool thing uh, so it's been recording for a while already and basically you have 1090 or 1286 as quality you got also voice recording so that's cool it has its own wi-fi so i could probably connect it to my phone just downloading the app and this is where it means collision i play highly sensitive um date time I stopped recording. I should probably stop recording. And video recording time. Uh, sound effect for on and off. And basically, if you want sound, which I don't want it, English settings and basically the light whether i want it low high 
I guess it gives me a driving report also and factory settings and that's it so um overall i'm pretty happy with it um i'm just gonna uh, wire it up hide hide all this wire so this one is my power source this one is my backup camera so that's what i'm gonna do real quick and then i'll give you guys some footage from the night and daytime to see how how good of a quality it shoots um i guess the only downside is that the memory card is right there so if i want to take it out i basically have to lower the mirror and get it from here and i have to disconnect the backup camera because it's right down there so uh we'll see how i like it so far i'm liking it so far so let's get to it So there, I kind of hit the wire from the back. Same thing from here, hit it in the back. Now I just gotta run this one all the way back here, which I'm gonna do right now. And then that one ran all the way down there, down to the glove box and down over here. So it's already plugged into the stereo. I'm gonna leave it like that. So yeah. Now I gotta do the real one, that's it. So I just did the hardest part, bringing the wire. I actually got it from there, all the way there, all the way up here. Uh, reason being is because there's more wires on this side. I tried it on there first and there's too many wires right here. So it's kind of hard. Um, uh, had to use this, shove this in there. Uh, and then as you saw, I taped it up there, pulled it out and I was able to get the wire all the way over here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna fix all this wiring right now and then uh, set up the camera. So I'm gonna test fit it right there. Uh, reason being is because the handle's right here and see how it looks. If not, I'm probably thinking of putting it right here where the keyhole's at, take off that and put it there. But I'm gonna try that one first. So, oh, so that's how it looks. So I think that's where I'm gonna put it right now, for now. And then figure out where I put it later if I don't like it. Sorry, battery died. So I was able to put it on already. And then this license plate's gonna go over it right there. So it should grip it a little bit more. I don't even know where I left the screws now, shit. So there's one. Oh, the one's right here. there it is good to go i just gotta put the plastics on this side go for a test drive and show you the quality during the day and night that way you can see but 
that would be it and for those of you asking right now these are JDM door seals they also make them in black so for those that have the black interior they come in blue and they also come in uh, red So let's go for a test drive, get you some footage uh, during the day and night. I forgot to take this little cover off, so it's gonna be better quality. And I'm gonna clean it off right now too. Also forgot to hide this wire. So I'm gonna do that right quick before I head out. On the other note, um, what's it called? If you want that as a backup camera, all you gotta do is connect this to your reverse, your reverse lights and it will only turn on when you put it in reverse. So that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna use this feature because I wanna record both. I have access to both on the road, so I'm not gonna use this. So I'm just gonna hide it, put some set tights and put it back here somewhere. So it doesn't look ugly. So everything's already installed. I just gotta remove the plastic on the back and this one right here so damn it looks so fresh and so clean so another thing should i install this on my car and put it right here that lift let me turn it on for you guys There it is, and this is the backup camera. It looks way better now that I don't have that little cover anymore. So, there it is. Let's see if I. Oops. Don't want copyrights.
backup camera? But you won't. You do. Huh? But you do. But you said it's recording right now. So you constantly see the back. Yeah. The fuck is that? It's pretty cool. You're able to connect through the phone. It uses Wi-Fi, its own Wi-Fi, and like uh, able to connect, switch cameras, and I'm able to see the footage that's on there right now. So let me try to. There it is. So that's the footage I've recorded so far. So it's pretty cool. Overall, I like it so far. So, even right now, it's showing that it's connected. But that will be it, guys. I actually love this thing. It's way better than me having a camera. I did have to switch the sensitivity to medium because when I was driving in my stiff suspension, it would activate an accident. So, those red dots are saying that I got an accident. But it's just basically my suspension. But. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. I'm out.